in the dusky realm of cinematic history, where reels of celluloid weave tales of adventure and emotion, lies a timeless gem that has caressed the hearts of many since its inception. Imagine, for a moment, the flicker of a silver screen in the year 1954, when a remarkable movie by the name River of No Return first graced the theaters. It was a moment of cinematic enchantment, an encounter that carved a special niche within the annals of memory for those fortunate enough to witness its unfolding. Do you recall that very instance when the lights dimmed and the world around you seemed to dissolve, leaving only the tantalizing promise of escapism? The opening notes of the score resonating in harmony with the beating of your heart as the rugged landscapes and untamed rivers sprawled before your eyes. It was an invitation to embark on a journey not just alongside the characters but deep within the chambers of your own soul. Perhaps, as the scenes meandered like the very river it was named after, there was a moment that etched itself into your consciousness. A glance exchanged between the protagonists, a burst of laughter, or even a heart-wrenching melody that echoed the very essence of love and loss. Those instances, they become eternally interwoven with your personal narrative, don't they? And now, as we stand on the shores of memory, let's journey beyond the visible. Let's dive into the realm of random facts, where the river of knowledge flows with surprising twists, in turns, uncover the stories behind the scenes, the anecdotes that birth the magic, and the quirks that make River of No Return a beacon in the cinematic cosmos. So, buckle up as we navigate through the currents of history, unearthing the hidden treasures that lie within this cinematic masterpiece. Let's explore, reminisce, and let our hearts dance to the rhythm of celluloid dreams. After all, isn't that what the magic of movies is all about? Marilyn Monroe's redemption in River of No Return, a cinematic journey in the annals of Hollywood lore. Marilyn Monroe's meteoric rise to stardom is a tale oft recounted. Yet, a curious twist of fate colored her path to the silver screen. In 1949, producer Stanley Rubin declined Monroe a role due to her perceived inexperience. Years later, seeking redemption, he cast her in the 1954 film River of No Return. A classic example of silver screen serendipity, the movie placed Monroe front and center, capitalizing on her burgeoning fame. However, the film's production was a tempestuous affair. Director Otto Preminger navigated treacherous waters, battling frequent rain that derailed shooting schedules. Monroe's ankle injury further disrupted proceedings, confining her to a cast and sidelining her for days. Amidst this tumult, young Tommy Reddick emerged as an unexpected anchor. His professionalism and rapport with Monroe steadied her, counteracting her inner turmoil. Notably, a clash of personalities stirred the set. Natasha Lytus, Monroe's acting coach, encroached on Reddick's performance, eroding his confidence. Preminger, a staunch supporter of Reddick's potential, rallied the crew against this intrusion. The director's resolve to remove Lytus found unanimous backing, signifying a unity that had eluded the set thus far. The film's history delves deeper still. Before their on-screen encounter, Robert Mitchum and Marilyn Monroe had crossed paths. Both had toiled at Lockheed Aircraft alongside Monroe's first husband, James Doherty. Their acquaintance, established in the mid-1940s, lent an intriguing layer to their eventual cinematic collaboration. River of No Return transcends the silver screen, embodying the ebbs and flows of Hollywood fortune. Monroe's journey from early rejection to triumphant redemption stands as a testament to her enduring legacy. Amidst rain-soaked challenges and personal entanglements, the film crystallizes the mercurial nature of the industry, where stars align, falter, and ultimately shine. Ultimately shine. Ultimately turbulent production and fiery incidents. Behind the scenes of River of No Return in the annals of Hollywood history, the year 1954 marked the release of the enigmatic Western drama, River of No Return. But behind its silver screen glamour lay a tumultuous production rife with challenges that rivaled the very plots it sought to depict. A canvas of scenic grandeur, the film's journey was marred by artistic disagreements and real-life firestorms that would forever etch its legacy. In a dramatic turn during post-production, director Otto Preminger embarked on a sojourn to Europe, entrusting the final touches of the film to editor Louis R. Loeffler and producer Stanley Rubin. Jean Nigalesco, a seasoned hand, was enlisted to capture elusive moments in retakes. The editing room's reels unveiled a startling truth, Rubin's reservations were validated. Preminger's missteps came into sharp focus. The raw essence of the West, integral to the film, had slipped through his fingers. Neglecting crucial narrative threads, mishandling action, and leaving scenes disjunctive, Preminger's shortcomings were laid bare. The contrast between studio shots and on-location sequences jarred the film's continuity, an oversight emblematic of the director's disarray. On a fateful day en route to the Banff filming location, fate intervened in the form of a blazing gasoline truck, halting the studio's caravan in its tracks. Chaos unfurled as the crew grappled with the inferno before them. Amidst the turmoil, Joe DiMaggio, the famed baseball star and Marilyn Monroe's paramour, emerged as an unexpected hero. Rallying the troop, he spearheaded a search for the driver who had fled into the woods, consumed by flames. Their rescue mission unveiled the harrowing truth, a badly burned figure emerged, a poignant reminder of the perilous nature of their cinematic pursuit. For Preminger, the tumultuous making of River of No Return served as an indelible turning point. The director's disillusionment with the studio system burgeoned, culminating in an unprecedented decision. A hefty sum of $150,000 was relinquished to 20th Century Fox, 
severing the remnants of his contractual obligations. Preminger's proclamation was clear, he sought refuge from the confines of studio employment, propelled by the trials of River of No Return. In the pantheon of film lore, River of No Return remains an emblem of artistic aspiration and discord. Its backdrop of untamed landscapes masked the turmoil that unfolded behind each frame, forever intertwining the real and the real. A tale of Western allure and studio strife, it stands as a testament to the delicate dance between creative vision and cinematic reality. When director Otto Preminger took on the tumultuous production of the 1954 film River of No Return, little did he know that his insistence on realism would lead to both challenges and controversy. The movie, set against the backdrop of the gold rush, starred Hollywood icons Marilyn Monroe and Robert Mitchum as unlikely companions navigating treacherous waters. Preminger's determination for authenticity prompted him to have the actors perform their own stunts, a decision that proved both daring and problematic. The scenes depicting a raft battling down raging rapids became emblematic of the film's turbulent creation. Monroe, America's sweetheart, faced a perilous situation when her boots filled with water during a shoot, leading to a near-drowning incident. On another occasion, both Monroe and Mitchum found themselves stranded on a precarious rock, their raft teetering on the edge of overturning. However, there is a twist to this tale. According to Lee Server's biography Robert Mitchum, Baby I Don't Care, the star's involvement in these stunts might have been exaggerated. Stunt performers Roy Jensen, Helen Thurston, and Harry Monty are said to have taken the brunt of the dangerous sequences. Mitchum's tendency to weave colorful narratives leaves one wondering if this was just another instance of his storytelling prowess. Despite the behind-the-scenes drama, the film's trajectory eventually steadied. Otto Preminger, initially disinterested in the project, experienced a change of heart upon reading the screenplay. He recognized the potential of the story's wilderness-driven narrative and gave his stamp of approval to the casting of Mitchum and Monroe. Their on-screen chemistry would later become a focal point of the movie's appeal. However, not all was harmonious on set. Reports reveal a friction between Robert Mitchum and both director Otto Preminger and his co-star Tommy Reddick. These clashes added yet another layer of complexity to the production, intertwining with the challenges posed by the untamed river setting. As the rapids of production difficulties surged, River of No Return carved its path into cinematic history. A film born out of an audacious commitment to realism, it ultimately stands as a testament to the tumultuous journey of bringing a vision to life in the golden age of Hollywood. Wood, 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 wood. Marilyn Monroe's enchanting presence in the 1954 film River of No Return is well known, but it was her unique attachments that often go unnoticed. Beyond her mesmerizing performance, Monroe developed an unexpected bond with her on-screen companion, a raccoon named Bandit. She became remarkably attached to this furry co-star, even fostering a friendship that extended off-camera. Their camaraderie added an extra layer of authenticity to their on-screen interactions. Monroe's commitment didn't end with Bandit, though. In an effort to make her portrayal as captivating as possible, she dedicated herself to perfecting her own musical contributions. Her character's singing voice was indeed her own, and she tirelessly practiced to ensure her guitar fingering was impeccably accurate. His commitment to authenticity shines through in every musical moment of the film. Decades later, the legacy of River of No Return continued to inspire. American actor and screenwriter Bo Dare, who collaborated with Robert Mitchum in the 1988 film Scrooged, was captivated by Mitchum's first-hand tales of working with Monroe on set. Dare was so moved by the anecdotes that he paid homage to Monroe's thoughtfulness and perceptiveness by crafting a character based on her in one of his 2008 scripts. This showcases the enduring impact Monroe had on her colleagues, transcending time and genre. Marilyn Monroe's multifaceted connection to River of No Return echoes the depth of her artistry. Her endearing attachment to Bandit, dedication to musical authenticity, and the lasting impression on those who worked alongside her are testaments to her indelible influence on and off the silver screen. Silver screen. As the credits roll on the cinematic masterpiece that is the 1954 film River of No Return, we are left with more than just images on a screen. We are left with a river of emotions, flowing through the landscapes of our own memories. This movie, a harmonious blend of adventure, drama, and breathtaking landscapes, has a unique way of intertwining itself with our own life's currents. Just as the characters navigate the treacherous waters of the Salmon River, so too do we navigate the rivers of our own experiences. Perhaps it's the rugged charm of Robert Mitchum's character that resonates with you, or maybe it's Marilyn Monroe's captivating presence that lingers in your mind. Whatever it is, this film has etched itself into the tapestry of your own story. It's more than just a movie, it's a companion that has been with you through quiet nights and lazy afternoons. Now, I invite you to take a moment to drift back in time, to those instances when River of No Return played a part in your life. What memories does it awaken? What emotions does it stir? Whether you've watched it with friends, family, or even on your own, those moments are like pebbles in the riverbed, shaping the course of your own narrative. As you contemplate the impact of this film on your journey, I encourage you to share your reflections. Let your thoughts flow like the river, mingling with the thoughts and memories of others who have been touched by this cinematic gem. 
Your story is a unique tributary to the greater river of shared experiences. Thank you for taking the time to journey through these reflections with me. Your engagement enriches the tapestry of human connection that spans time and space. So, let the river of your memories meander and converge with others as we celebrate the enduring magic of River of No Return. Until our paths cross again, keep those memories afloat. Warm regards, your name, your name, your name, your name, your name.